resonate with you if you happen to have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, dominant in your natal chart, um, or if you happen to be cross-watching for a Virgo in, this might be a reading. Let's get right into it. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on for Virgo Nation for the next seven days. Virgo, it seems like you're going somewhere. You could possibly be running from something. It feels like somebody is running from something. They're trying to escape from something. In particular, random side note, Virgo, some of you, are you having, did you have a miscarriage? Did I lost a little baby? Some of you, maybe your kids are leaving the nest. Virgo. It seems like there's somebody that you really care about, Virgo, whether or not this is platonic <clears throat> or this is romantic. However, this relationship happens to resonate with you. It seems like there's somebody that you really care about. It just feels like at the moment, you're not really able to get along with someone. I think that for some of you, if this is a love relationship, it seems like there's somebody that's permanently etched in your brain and you might be finding yourself getting very emotional over this person at this point in time, or this is how someone is feeling about you. Hey, Marcia, is it Marcia? Drama. Okay, it feels like that's what's going on in your energy this week. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. So if you are dealing with Cancerians or you have cancer in your chart, um, there's some type of drama. And it seems like somebody in your energy this week is fueled by drama. This doesn't have to be a home situation. This could definitely be at work. And it's talking about other people attending the performance. Maybe you are a performer or something is happening in front of other people. Other people, it's it's catching other people's attention. All right, maybe this is, maybe the conflict that you're going through someone with someone this week, maybe, maybe law enforcement is involved in the situation, okay? Because it, it just feels like, Somebody's mouth is lethal this week. They're saying some things that are really crippling someone emotionally. But at the same time, Virgo Nation, I can't help but to notice that something is going on legally this week. Something is going on with the justice system. Somebody might be facing jail time. Someone is worried about jail time. But like I said, be careful about your conflict, the way that you're communicating this week. It just seems like things might get a little bit loud or, or get a bit too heated. And there, there's some things in the situation that you could possibly avoid, but I'm definitely seeing some type of conflict. Some of you, this conflict is coming in terms of an online beef that you have with somebody. Let's see. Yeah, because there's... Whatever is happening online or cross watchers, it just seems like that's what's on your mind this week. Or it's something that somebody said. It's, it's the way that they're coming across. Somebody is coming across real abrasive, real disrespectful. But like I said, a lot of you, this is in a romantic relationship. And let's make it very clear. Spirit guides continue to bring this out. Something is going on in court. Somebody might have a warrant that they need to take care of um a ticket that they need to take care of something it seems like um a time is ticking with something they need to take care of i don't know some of you this has something to do with an eviction there's some type of like i said legal involvement with this situation there's someone this week possibly a romantic partner someone is coming to approach you with something okay the way that they're coming in to approach you it seems like they're being genuine about something or someone wants to approach you after there's been some type of beef it just feels like somebody is not sure what to say and remember i was saying at the beginning it seems like somebody is running away from something hiding away from something it seems like that's been the issue. Somebody may not want to address a situation face to face. Maybe they might be saying something to you online instead. Maybe it's easier for them to maybe address you indirectly rather than directly. You definitely have the energy of a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but particularly a Leo. I promise you, every time there's a Virgo that shows up in your reading, it's guaranteed that Leo is going to show up. Some of you are Virgo, Leo, cusp, or you're dealing with a Leo. 
This is a Leo that's showing up in your energy this week. Somebody, they are, they're coming across disrespectful. I mean, I promise you there's somebody that you can't seem to get along with or you can't see eye to eye with this person. Why? It just seems like there's just a breakdown in communication. That's just how you guys roll. That's how you guys speak to each other. That's your love language this week is conflict. Well, it seems like the reason might be that, like I said, somebody's avoiding the issue or they're just outright lying about something this week. It seems like you might be dealing with a Cancerian. This might be a Cancer. That might be who's coming to talk to you. Or you might be avoiding an issue with a Cancerian. Yeah, it, it just seems like somebody has heard about something. They feel like maybe you're trying to get one over on them. There's a Libra. So this King of Swords could definitely be a Libra individual. What's really going on? You're catching them in something. There's a Sagittarius. I did say fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep, here's Aries. And here's King of Cups, who I feel is a Scorpio. But this could be, like I said, Cancer, Pisces. Or Scorpio. Let's talk about it. There's an Aries. Oh, there you are. Yep. You're getting into it with a Scorpio, possibly. What is this about? Some of either your arguments have something to do. The tension has something to do with finances. So like somebody is stressed out about money. And rather than talking to you, they're talking at you. They're being real disrespectful. They're being real loud. That somebody doesn't think before they speak this week. What do they want? Somebody wants to start over with you. They want to start fresh. Virgo Nation, but they don't feel like you want to talk. They feel Virgo or Cross Watcher that you're being very cold to them. Someone this week is giving you the cold shoulder. Not wanting to talk, but something needs to, they, it has to be addressed. Yep. Family members, or this is somebody that you share a household with. Because it seems like there's some type of deadline that's coming up. That's gonna, something is coming to an end, Virgo. Something is coming to an end, possibly with a Cancerian. There's definitely an end of a contract that's coming up. So this might possibly have something to do with like a living situation. It seems like it's been a while for some of you since you talked to someone. Like I said, you're giving somebody the silent treatment. Something comes up. Something gets addressed this week. Something is forced to be addressed. I promise you, somebody passed. It's like the anniversary of somebody's passing that comes up. Wow. If this is a parent-child situation, a child really needs there to be some type of stimulation. They need um, conversation from um, an elder because it seems like there's somebody that's being brainwashed by someone. And um, there's a lot of deep things in your reading for I didn't know this was going to be this deep of a reading, but there's a lot of stuff here. I will say that there's a child that really needs the guidance of an elder in this in their life because they're feeling really lost, really confused, and really abandoned. For some of you, this is what's causing problems in relationships is somebody's abandonment issues, not wanting to confront the issue, not wanting to deal with the deeper issues. So it just seems like somebody comes across as real abrasive giving a lot of pushback in relationships, wanting companionships, genuinely wanting to make connections with people, but at the same time, not wanting to be too close. Leaving relationships or finding ways to sabotage relationships, not doing so personally, like purposely. This feels like this is inner trauma that someone has not dealt with. Like I said, this is either happening around you and somebody is going through inner conflict about something, 
or this is just the root cause. A lot of abandonment issues, somebody not wanting to deal with the real issue, but instead trying to trigger you, fight with you. Or in other words, something may come up this week, Virgo Nation, that triggers you or a child. Something is happening within your household. Okay, arrival. This could be an arrival of a baby. Somebody's having a daughter. Somebody's coming to see you, okay? You might be expecting someone's arrival this week. There could be some type of a road trip that you're going on, but I do see something is changing within your surroundings intentionally, like you're wanting to go someplace other than where you are. I feel like somebody's avoiding home because of the conflict. This comes to work, okay? Not all of you, but for some of you, they get maybe time to move on from something. My situation is a very strong cancer. Thank you for the feedback. Let's see what's going on with um, work. Because for some of you, this is something that's going on um, for you mentally. Okay, It seems like in the background of your situation at work, what's going on for you mentally is you're recovering from heartbreak. Whatever is going on at home, whatever conflict or drama you're having with someone else romantically or platonically, you're feeling that at work. Or for others, you, you that's where the drama is. Maybe you are trying to work. <laughs> Virgo, and it just seems like there's some people running their mouth about you behind your back, okay? You got some type of drama, okay? There's some petty gossip, some envy. And I, I'm trying to see why Cancer Nation? It just seems like you want to break from this. Because remember, that's the overall energy. Surrender the drama. Teamwork, being part of a team. It seems like you are a team player, but it just seems like there's some people that are around you. If this is where the beef is in your life, somebody doesn't want to play by the rules, and I feel like somebody is targeting you. And in some cases, it's a Sagittarius. At work this week, it's a it's it's an integrity thing. It's somebody, for some of you, there could be some type of third-party interference at work. Somebody might be attracted to someone at work. Um, that could be where the drama is. And maybe this is word is circulating. The rumor mill is circulating about what might be going on at work. Somebody might be finding, um, could be sleeping with the boss to get ahead. For some of you, that might be the case. But for some of you, it just feels like part of you desires some type of change. Okay, so this gossip, these feels like this is stories that are being told about you or you're you're gossiping you're participating in the drama with something your name is involved in some type of drama either you are the ish starter or there's people talking about virgo nation somebody is trying to stop your progress it feels like virgo in some type of way for some of you this is a higher up somebody a higher up in a position of authority is jealous of you and trying to stop you or so you are trying to do this to someone it seems like somebody in this situation, whether you or someone in the office, is really focused on success. But it just feels like you've fallen on some type of hard time, Virgo Nation. And it just seems like time is up with something. Okay, I feel like time is of the essence. It feels like the way that you utilize your time this week, Virgo Nation, is going to be a game changer for you. It could either keep you it's stuck in the same cycle or it moves you forward. But there seems to be there be there needs to be some type of change with your work. Like I said, the either the environment or the way that you're organizing your time is a problem. And you may find a way to come out of that. You got some opportunities and doors that are opening up for you this week. Virgo Nation, if you capitalize on the opportunity and utilize your time well. You got some unfairness, some unfair biases that may have been going on at work. Like I did say, this is either favoritism at home amongst your kids, or this is you. You felt you dealt with that as a kid, and maybe you feel like the black sheep. Or like I said, this is going on at work. Unfair treatment. Like I said, it feels like you have some type of new opportunity this week. You're, there's some type of new excitement. I promise you, some of you, there's a, a new baby that you're welcoming into the family. There's news of pregnancy. 
you're very ambitious this week, Virgo Nation, and I feel like this is what makes the difference for you professionally. You just know that somebody's trying to put your light out in some type of way. I feel like maybe th this is the week that I feel like you're able to accelerate quickly with something that you're working on. This could even be a fitness goal, Virgo Nation. Some of you, there's a move in store for you. If you're dealing with a legal situation, this seems like something comes out in your favor. Something has finally comes to an end and you're able to put something behind you. Some of you, this is legal drama that we're talking about. You've been going through some type of legal battle with someone or, yeah. I don't know, you're having a problem with the police. Possibly for some of you, this could be some type of discrimination that you're experiencing. It just seems like somebody is trying to keep you stuck. Somebody's trying to keep you down, but you still come out victorious in the end. And if there's somebody that's avoiding communication with you, they're avoiding apolog being apologetic to you, it's, it's because of pride. Oh, wow. That's what I mean. Time is up with something. There's some type of deadline. And it seems like you may not want to miss that deadline, whatever the case is. Something might be a little bit too late or you might be worried. This might be what's going on in your headspace. You feel like maybe it's too late with something. Somebody might feel like it's too late to try to make things right with you. Or they may have felt that maybe you have moved on to a new relationship. And maybe this is what they're discovering online, that you're no longer single. Or this is, like I said, that, that's what's circulating. Rumors about that. Somebody has been struggling lately. I feel like this is financially. So maybe you might be giving someone a helping hand this week, Virgo, some, or a cross watcher. Somebody could be calling you for a loan, or you could be helping somebody out with a ride in some type of way, because it feels like somebody is having some type of issue with their transportation. Yes, somebody was careless with you. They said something to you in the heat of the moment, and they really did not mean it. One of you, you're giving off the vibe that you're happy that it's over. Somebody does feel like it's too late, whether it's romantic or platonic. It's with a family member or whomever. Somebody feels like they, they want to talk to you about some things, but they feel like there's no real way to approach it. But this week, they're thinking about doing so. Somebody genuinely loves you, Virgo Nation or cross -watcher. They just have a really awkward way of showing you. But for some of you, somebody, it's too late because there's been a third party situation and too much damage has been done and somebody just doesn't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah, heart to heart conversations. So this week, it seems like there's a, that's what I mean, there is a need to talk about something. It just feels like somebody doesn't know. Like I said, it's pride. They messed up, but, and they know that they said some things or did some things that were foul. They want to talk to you. Yeah, it's not really the issue is that somebody that is playing around. They don't want to be faithful. They don't want to be serious. And that's the truth that was seen in the situation. And for some of you, this is children. They feel like there's a parent or an authority figure here that's not really committed to working this out, working out the kinks in the relationship. In the near future, it feels like there could possibly be a reconciliation. You let somebody go. It seems like you haven't been able to let something go. And I think you're, like I said, there's potential here for you to come to terms with something. If it's worth it to you or if this really does fit your situation, you really do want to reconcile with someone or make something right, you may need to approach the situation. And I've it's the way that you approach the situation. It's the way that you word something. You're going to go into something possibly feeling like you're walking on eggshells, Virgo. But if it's worth it to you to fix a situation, I think for some of you, something is salvageable. I think so. For others of you, I feel like somebody is looking too close on your situation. Somebody's trying to, this is either you're under some type of investigation. I'm picking up PI vibes. Virgo. 
timing. I promise you, timing is everything. Go. The time is right. There's some type of deadline that you need to take care of. If it's not yours, then it is someone around you. This feels like it could be connected to finances. I think you're able to find a resolution. You might need to get an extension on a bill, Virgo. But I think that there, there might be some type of debt that maybe you're needing to settle or whatever the case happens to be. You got to get in touch with somebody. Virgo. Yeah, finances might be kind of difficult to navigate through this week. But it seems like things get a little bit better for you towards the end of the week. So maybe this is a pay week for you. Like I said, there's, I didn't say this. There might be some money that you're waiting on and it does come through. Yeah, especially if there's been a delay with money. Expect the pettiness to be in the background. Not for everyone. For some of you, there's a Gemini. This Queen of Swords could be a Gemini. There could be a Gemini involved. Or this is somebody that you're not speaking to. Your luck is has the ability to change. I think your, your um, dedication to your craft is going to be tested this week. Somebody's coming to try to test, test you at work. Or try to little girl you or little bro you at work. Or this is your partner talking to you like, kid, somebody feels talked down to. Could be your boss. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to hear you out. That's the problem. It's, it's that somebody talks more than they listen. So if this is a genuine talk that you really want to have with someone, you might really want to be open to listening. Somebody feels like somebody does not listen or they don't take to heart what they're really trying to say. Rural Nation, Cross Watcher, and it's really tearing somebody apart. But I really feel like for the majority of you, this has something to do with a kid. That, and they're looking, this at, looking at this as a betrayal and it's painting the picture that they can't really trust people. And for some of this is a parental situation. They're having a having difficulty trusting a parent or they feel like there's somebody that doesn't come to their defense for some of you this is a kid that's being bullied and didn't i say that this was a deep reading i, I didn't want to mention this at first i don't know if i want to mention it at all um like, i sense a pedo and I sense that there's a child that really, that a parent or an authority figure that really may need to pay attention to what's going on with a kid, pay attention to their body language. Their demeanor is different. This isn't for every kid. It's not, but it's for somebody. Okay. Yeah. See, somebody was not being honest. And there could possibly be some forgiveness. Yeah, there's a... A child that might may feel like the, the parent took the easy way out by lying or avoiding the issue, not talking about really the real issue in the situation, the advice. Something is a slap in the face to somebody. So I think somebody is physically abusive. That might be why I'm saying law enforcement, Holy Spirit, anything else that you have for the Virgo Nation. Some of you, like I said, are really dealing with a Leo. Some of you, it's time to have the courage to let go of something. Something may need to come to an end. Um, Virgo Nation, you're holding on to something. You're holding on to a third party situation or a sinking ship. And it genuinely is time to let go of something. Some of you, this is drama. Other people's beef. You're caring too much about other people's opinion of you to the point that it's just really affecting you on a daily basis. You're human. You know, at the end of the day, you are human, but it's like you can't really change people. You can't really control other people's opinion of you. And it may be necessary for you to just kind of find ways to let that energy dissipate. Because a lot of these things in this reading, Virgo Nation, you have the ability to change. It's just going to be up to your mindset. The advice, Holy Spirit, for the Virgo Nation. Somebody might be looking at somebody as wishy-washy or toothless. Somebody's having, been having problems with fertility and it seems like there's some type of resolution that you come up with. Yeah, so it's like you want to have children. But it's been a fertility issue. The answer this week might be yes, or that might be something that's coming up for you. 
transformation you're experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessing some of you are obviously dealing with a scorpio butterflies aren't you somebody did pass they're definitely sending you a very clear message they're around you Virgo nation or this is a Virgo that passed and they are sending a very clear message they're around you Virgo there's a yeah so I think you're in a stage of change that's what I mean some type of door needs to be closed in order for you to go through some type of transformation so I think that you guys are trying to encourage you to be open to change bodies of water I did say that maybe you're wanting to go on a hideaway or this is like um a vacation you're wanting to go out of town spend time near water such as a lake river or the ocean to recharge your batteries i think you're running on empty virgo i think you're tapped out emotionally with something and i think it really is time to recharge confirmation of what we just talked about endings and beginnings the old must be released so that the new can enter that's what i mean your childhood trauma is something that is blocking you or holding you back or a partner or somebody in your life You've got to find ways, healthy ways to release the past so that you can move forward. Or this is, yeah, I feel like that's what this is. The old must be released so that the new can enter. I think this might be baggage. Childhood baggage. Or it's time for something to end. I feel like it has something to do with some type of mistreatment so that you can move forward past this. Mm-hmm. I think this is the week of emotional purging and having the courage to face whatever demons, whatever past issues are plaguing you. And it may be easier to run from those issues, but it just seems like this week you guys are not allowing someone to take the easy way out. Something needs to be dealt with emotionally because for some of you, it just seems like it might be that type of week. All right, Virgo Nation. Have a productive, healthy, positive week. I'll see you on the next one, Virgo Nation. Consider subscribing if you already haven't. Peace out.